Whoa, guys. How's it going? Today, we're going to go and check out this uh, 420 march that they're having through Paseo Montejo in the city. So, we're just getting our 420 on, chilling. We're smoking that Mexican oregano. And uh, we're going to go check out the march in a little bit. So, uh, all right. Thanks for joining us. See you in a bit. All right, guys. Well, we're heading over to Paseo Montejo right now. We're gonna go check out the 420 March thingamajiggy. And uh, we're gonna have some fun today. Well, we always have fun, but we're gonna have some more fun, different kind of fun. So um, hopefully we're not too late and uh, the March is going on. So what's happening is that they're starting out like uh, like way north of here and they're gonna pass through Paseo Montejo on their way to the center. So, you know, originally, the original idea was to like join the whole thing, but since it's like a billion degrees out here and like, you know, we're not, it's not really worth it. You know, we're just gonna go and <laughs> go to Paseo Montejo and hopefully we can catch them as they pass through. And uh, yeah, whatever, just uh, join us. Have yeah, some fun. All right, see you guys in a bit. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, look, we literally got here right in time. Right in front, we're, we're right here. <laughs> we got here just in time. We're at the front, so all right, I guess I'm just gonna park the camera. And uh, we're gonna watch this whole fucking thing together, I guess. Get, get, get a day? I have fucking thing. Yeah, we're with them. I think it's a small group. It looked like it was bigger. Legalization. Legalize. Yeah. 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 Legalize. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, <laughs> well, I guess we gotta march with them. All right, we're gonna march with them for a little while. All right. <laughs> Get him a check one. <laughs> oh yeah, you got one too. It's really cool. They have this like nice, uh, peaceful protest out uh, here in uh, Merida, Mexico, for such a wonderful medicinal drug. It's fucking awesome. You know, I'm not gonna lie, you know, it's a little bit anticlimactic. Uh, I thought this uh, this whole walk, it was gonna be a little awesomer. But it just seems like it's a small little gathering of uh, other marijuana enthusiasts out here. And uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. It's still very conservative out here, so it's kind of hard to get people to, to change their minds. But hey, we gotta support those that are supporting it, always. <laughs> and yeah, she's busy uh, chatting up with her friend there. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say a few words about the march. Uh, the march was pretty cool, it was pretty interesting. <laughs> hey, she's more honest, I guess. You know, you think I'm honest, she's even more honest. Uh, so um, yeah, the march was subpar, but it's pretty cool. Again, like as I was just saying to her, like it has to start somewhere. Back in the States, it was pretty much the same thing where these marches were very small and especially in very, you know, uh, conservative communities where you know, marijuana is still like a, you know, horrible drug, you know, compared to heroin or, you know, what have you. And so it was just really nice to see uh, a small community here, you know, still trying, you know, trying to embrace that and starting the, the movement and the march and, uh, you know, the awareness for marijuana and cannabis and all that good stuff. So it's really interesting. It was uh, really awesome to at least partake in and march with them a little bit. And, um, Oh yeah, yes. And so, yeah, she makes a really good point how, you know, the police, you know, they were there to 
you know accompany the march and to make sure that the march went great and awesome um, and uh, very supportive you know pretty much very supportive of the whole situation just like in a lot of cities as to where you know marijuana and cannabis has been uh, legalized you know kind of like the same thing here where most of the you know police and the people uh, you know in that state um, you know are pretty much uh, in favor of legalizing this stuff because it's just like medicine again you know this is a place where there's pharmacies everywhere and uh, you can get really even more hardcore drugs and again alcohol you can get like a whole fucking bottle for you know nothing so the reality is that you know the, the reason that it's illegal or for like the same dumb stupid reasons that it's illegal in the united states and everywhere else and again that's a topic for another day we could talk about that all day long but if you want to do that just you know go watch a video on something else you know talking about cannabis and cannabis awareness and the history of cannabis and how we got here because again as we all know cannabis has been medicine since the beginning of time all the way up until about a hundred years ago when the u.s made it illegal and then thus made it illegal everywhere and now we are where we are now where you know we got you know a few people just you know just taking part in the march you know just trying to make that legal again uh anyways all right guys well we're gonna get back to right yeah so we're gonna get back to hanging out and getting something to eat and all that good stuff um as you can see she's just staring into the nothingness so i'm gonna go pay attention to her have some fun and thank you so much you know for joining me today as always you guys are the best and uh thanks again uh hope you enjoyed today's special episode see you guys manana as always peace hey guys so you know it's hot and we're walking back on our way from the the march it was uh it was very hectic, as you guys saw. <laughs> so we decided to grab a couple beers because it was hot. And um, remember I told you guys that we can actually, you know, walk and drink beer out here and no problem. Well, you, you can't do that. You just gonna have to like brown bag it, but they don't give you a brown bag. So you're gonna have to like put it in a cup or, you know, kind of like put some napkins around it and just kind of like nonchalantly, like at least make an effort, you know, like uh, to pretend you're not drinking one. And that's it and don't act drunk and stupid and other than that yeah you can drink out here you know unlike the u.s you know where you're just carrying a six-pack home and you'll probably get like the swat team after you so yeah i just wanted to share that with you you know so just um you know you can drink out here for the most part just uh be careful and you can do whatever obviously just again we'll be dumb and that's it so all right guys well I'll catch you guys the next one i don't know i just filmed a bunch of shit today and we're just putting it all together so what do you think you having fun See, the beer makes everything always so much more fun. That's what we got extra. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys later. All right, well, we're gonna get back to the crib. So uh, we're gonna get dressed, um, go out to dinner, have a nice night, um, and enjoy our day. Um, it was a nice little parade. Uh, we didn't walk around too much. There's a few blocks. See, we're already exhausted, as you guys can see. She's already back there tired, as I am, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna get the fuck out of here. All right, guys, well, thanks for joining me on this very short, special 420-type episode. Uh, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining me.